What's team? How's everybody doing? Hope you're all okay. Staying safe and well at home. Back again, more solo training. Just a quick one today, guys. Uh, I've been here a long time today and I want to get home and get some food. So, this is a really old position, but really useful. We're gonna imagine that our partner is trying to do double on the pass, okay? So the first thing I want to do is make grips on the sleeves, okay? And then I'm, at the same time, I'm gonna open my knees and make my knees really heavy and my legs heavy, open. I don't want them to try and bring knees together, okay? At the same time, I need to avoid being stuck. So I'm gonna put my head on the mat and stiffen my neck, okay? My feet are gonna go on the hips and I can even like shoulder walk back and push away, push away, push away to make some space. Then from there, I'm gonna choose a side to go. I'm gonna bring my leg all the way across to the front of the belly, right near the belt and my foot on the other hip. And then I'm just gonna rotate, like I kind of drilling my knee, screwing it inwards, keeping the grip. And then there we go, I get a nice tight arm lock, okay? So again, they're trying to stack pass, okay? They're trying to get double unders and stack me. So I need to take everything away from them. I'm gonna try and break the grips. If they've got their hands together, I could use my hands on my knees to try and open. I'm gonna control the grips and make my legs really heavy and put my feet on the hips and my head needs to go on the mat as an extra post and I stiffen my neck. I'm gonna push my head into the mat to avoid that kind of motion where I'm getting stacked, okay? If they're driving into me, I can shoulder walk away, stay very strong, and then I'm just gonna simply choose one side, one leg is gonna go all the way across the front of the belly, and then I'm gonna rotate, twist, and pull this grip here, and you'll see I'm getting a nice lock on the arm here, okay? Sometimes you don't always hit the submission. I still use this a lot, but it's nice just to break down the grips. And even if you just then regard or get to a better place, it's a nice little thing to use. You don't always get the tap, but there we go. Okay. So they're trying to collect my legs, bring the hands together and stack pass, double under. So I'm going to make the grips. If I need to, I can open my legs with my own hands, keep my knees wide, put my head on the mat, Stiffen my neck, shoulder walk, and then we're going to bring one leg all the way across the front of the belly, and I kind of screw my leg in and twist my knee, turn, 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 and push. You can see if I hold this chair in place, you'll see how much leverage I can get there. You can like really, really get a good turn on that and really hurt the elbow. So, again, if that quick, do all these things together at the same time, ideally. For me, I never want to let my partner get their hands together. I keep an eye on where their hands are being. So as they're coming around, I'd be trying to stop these grips already, okay? But if I'm a bit late, I need to try and break the grips. I can use my hands on my knees, feet on the hip, head on the floor, stiffen your neck, walk away, put one leg in, and then get the tap, hopefully. You're gonna do one from the other side. I don't think there'll be much point in doing one facing that way. So last one now. Okay. It's a really old technique, really cool. So he broke my guard, oh, get double unders. As he's coming around, I'm gonna try to block the grips and don't let him get his hands together. Okay, I make my legs nice and heavy, open my knees. Head goes on the floor, you want to do all these things at the same time. Okay, so as soon as I sense that coming, I'm gonna block the grips, stick my head on the floor, try and open my legs, they're nice and heavy. If I'm a little bit late, I need to kind of react and open my legs, head on the floor, and try and keep opening my knees. Feet on the hips, shoulder walk back if you need to, and then choose a side, bring your foot all the way across to the other side of the ribs, and then, Rotate and turn to get the tap. Last one. Okay, trying to stack pass. So instantly open my legs, head on the floor, feet on the hips, shoulder walk away, pass my foot all the way to the other side, right near the ribs. And then you see, look, if I just let go, 
I can turn, 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 and you'll see how much torque I can get on the arm. Super cool technique. Nice to drill, nice to practice. Good to apply when we can finally spar. I can't wait for that day. Okay, guys, gonna see you soon. Take care. Woosah.